Okay, so I know this is kind of late, but the dust has finally settled and it's clear to see that The Last Jedi has become one of the most divisive Star Wars films ever made. Is it good? Is it bad? Well, I sit somewhere in the middle seeing both the film's positives and its negatives, so I thought, why not put my opinion on the internet, where I'm sure I will get a fair and measured response. Or everyone will hate me. So, here are my three good and bad points about Star Wars The Last Jedi. So my biggest fear coming off the back of The Force Awakens was that the next film was just going to do the exact same thing and play it incredibly safe. So imagine my surprise that The Last Jedi feels so fresh and feels like such an exciting step forward for the franchise. From the film's opening moments it's clear to see that it wants to constantly play with your expectations and never truly give you what you want. Considering how meh I felt about The Force Awakens and its copy and pasted story, I'm truly glad to see something new from Star Wars. So kind of hypocritical of me, but my first major complaint about The Last Jedi is just how much it seems to clash with the previous film. The first film seemed like it was planting the seeds for the future of the franchise, and then The Last Jedi comes along and digs up all the seeds and throws them in J.J. Abrams' face. Supreme Leader Snoke, Rey's parents, the Knights of Ren, they all seem to have been left by the wayside. Although I'm not a huge J.J. Abrams fan, I can at least appreciate that he had some kind of overarching plan for the trilogy, and it just looks like Ryan Johnson came along and did his own thing, disregarding what was already laid down. Now whether this will be seen as a good thing or a bad thing, only time will tell, but for now it feels as though the trilogy is already a bit disjointed. One of the biggest strengths of The Last Jedi is just how well it implements its main theme into the entire film. The sentiment of letting the past die is weaved throughout the film, with the newer generation of characters trying to eclipse and overtake their forebears. But what makes this theme so revelatory is just how meta it really is. Making or even watching a new Star Wars film must bring about this internal dilemma of wanting to do something new while also wanting to replicate the past. So bringing such a conflict into the actual film is kind of a stroke of genius. This is probably why the film has had such a strong reaction because of this old versus new argument, which is baked into the film's DNA. It's almost designed to annoy people who are trying to hold on to the past. The film is literally asking the audience if it's time to let the past go and to let the franchise move forward. Okay, so this one has been a pretty common complaint amongst fans, with many people, myself included, feeling that the film is just trying to be a little bit too jokey. And while I'm okay with most of the film's comedic moments, it's fair to say that there are a few too many and just one or two that feel out of place with the scene they're actually in. I also want to add that although I like all the jokes, they just don't feel very Star Wars-y. They feel a bit off, they feel like they're trying to replicate that Marvel movie style of jokes, and it just kind of doesn't fit in with Star Wars in my opinion. Finally, my last positive point is how well the film uses and improves on its main characters. Coming off the back of The Force Awakens, Rey and Poe just felt like underdeveloped characters, potentially feeling like rehashes of Luke and Han. But from the get-go, the film knuckles down on these two characters and gives them more depth, more internal struggle, and gives them a good arc throughout the film. It means that they now feel more like three-dimensional characters, and that's great because it grounds the film so much more. Now, let's talk about Luke. Many people have talked about their current disdain for how Luke Skywalker has turned out, but I could not disagree more. To me, it feels like the natural progression for this character within this storyline. This isn't some fanfic where Luke comes back and is a total badass and saves the day. This is a Luke who made a terrible mistake, set the plot in motion and thinks the universe would be better off without him. Sure, this isn't what we all wanted to see become of our childhood hero, but within this story and within this universe, this is unfortunately what would happen. Okay, so this one is pretty obvious, and as much as I don't think there's anything particularly wrong, with this specific storyline, it does feel like a huge waste of time, and it kind of seems like filler just to keep the momentum going throughout the film. It also seems like a huge waste of time for Finn and Rose, some interesting characters, and it just seems like they're spinning their wheels not really doing anything, especially considering that the whole reason that they're there in the first place kind of becomes superfluous by the end of the film. In the end, it just feels like a throwaway and disposable storyline, which is a waste in such a big 
gigantic feeling film. So there we have it, there are my opinions on the good and bad of The Last Jedi. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Please let me know in the comments below and we can have a little chat about it. Please check out my other videos and like and subscribe if you like this one. But for now, that's about it. Bye!